Hi, here we are at Island Art Co-op Gallery on Duval Street in downtown Key West. And I'd like, it, like to introduce you to one of our local artists, Mr. Ray Ralston. Hey, Papa Ray. Hi, Laura. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good. good. <laughs> I'd like you to tell everybody who exactly is Ray Ralston. Well, um, I'm one of the local artists. Um, and I was actually born in British Guyana and I migrated to New York in 1969. We spent 20 years there, and then I moved to the Fort Lauderdale area, and ultimately 10 years ago here in Key West. Best move I ever made. Best move I ever made. Oh. Here I am now in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your style of paintings and what inspires you. Well, just living in Key West inspires you. Just being here. This is beautiful. It's a colorful island. It just has all the elements that sets the creative juices into flow, well, okay. right? And I'm basically an acrylic painter. I use acrylic paints, right? And um, I am a naturalist. And originally, what I did is a lot of what, uh, paintings of the ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, because we're surrounded here by, on the eastern side, by the Atlantic Ocean on the west, right. by the Gulf of Mexico. Beautiful turquoise waters, right? Got a lot of phenomenal, you know, a very nice reef with phenomenal sea life. And that, like, really sends a great interest to the action. But being in the U.S., you know, he evolved to pay in the Key West landmarks and the very colorful real life in the U.S. Right. So, so, actually, this is what I do now. The Key West landmarks, Key West scenes, Key West houses. Um, yeah. It's just a very, very, very nice island. Right, lots of color. Yes, yeah. lots of color. Morgan Vales, the Royal Poncianos, all the palms and stuff, you know, so. As you can see, the paintings are very, very colorful, which are representatives of Key West, right? Absolutely. These are some of the originals. This is the Love Birds in Paradise. This is one I love, yeah. You got Love Chairs in Paradise. Right. This is another version of the Love Chairs in Paradise. And then, of course, these are some of our local landmarks, like Sloppy Joe's, Pepe's. This is the Pink Lady. This is the cover of Venice Golf Post Every Magazine, the 2007 January issue. Right. right? I do several book covers. This is one of uh, Voice of Some Keys. Every year for the Hemingway Days, they have a short story contest. And the winners are ultimately published. And this is the last book that they have. So you did the inside? There uh, are illustrations some illustrations in here. As well as the cover. As well as the cover. Right. And, um, and it's a very, very nice book, and um, I'm sure there are many more to come. Right? Uh, can someone meet you and see some of your artwork other than here? Sunset Celebration. Sunset yeah, Celebration, Mallory. I think, is the second largest public attraction in the United States. And it's said at Mallory Square. Two hours before sunset until two hours after sunset. Artists come out there, the local artists come, they display their works and their goods. They're performers, high wire acts. Uh, there's music, you got bands. It's a very, very, very nice um, environment. People come from all over the world, right. and they head out to Sunset Celebration to watch the, the sunset, and then they partake in the activities with the performers and the different things, and it's family oriented, which is very, very well, it's nice because they get to actually meet the artists. mingle with the local people and meet the artists and the performers and stuff like that.
so tell us what you're working on right now. Well, right now I'm working on a very, very special book by a very special writer, and her name is Laurel Denny. That name sounds familiar to me. It should. It, yeah. Oh, that's me. Uh, we are so doing a project yes. together, aren't we? Yes, we're doing yep. a book uh -huh. called A Mermaid's Tale. Yeah, I, yes, and actually this is one of the illustrations, and this is Mia Sea Dweller. And the beautiful thing about this, um, it has an illustrations of some of the more unusual ocean creatures, not the traditional fish that you see. And these guys are all actually real fish, like the leafy sea dragon, but they're not very common, they're very rare. And the cuttlefish, and the flying fish, right? right? And that makes it very, very um, mysterious and very interesting. interesting. They're not, Absolutely they're not what you see right. 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 Absolutely. right. And it's going to be very educational to, you know, for people who are unaware of certain things of the ocean, like helping to protect the ocean and, and things like that. You know? Okay, wonderful. And when do you expect this book to be out? In about two or two, three months. That's, it should be out by then. That's very good news. Yes. <laughs> very good news. <laughs> Um, do you have any other specific projects coming up, or um, do you just well, go with what? Well, you kind of, well, there are specific uh, commissions I'm working on, but then right. inspiration pops in your head being in Key West, and then you have to answer the call. Right. So it's, um, it's an ongoing process. Right. You know, your traditional work, your commissions and stuff, but then you're just inspired by something else that you see or something you have to go to work. Yeah, and a little birdie told me that you stay up all night painting, is that true? Not all night, maybe 90%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well thank you very much for your time. Oh, the pleasure is all fine. Okay. It was so nice to be here again. <laughs>